Hello, and welcome to the GEO Workshop on Select by Attributes. My name is Eric Rice, a GIS Analyst for Washington College. What is Select by Attributes? Select by Attributes is one of the main ways of pulling out features within an attribute table that have the same characteristic in common. You can perform queries on multiple characteristics that allow you to easily and quickly identify like features. Using Select by Attributes gives you the option to pull in the unique values for each field to assist you in finding the unique features without having to go through the trouble of opening and working through the attribute table, where you have to search for the data manually, which can be time consuming and frustrating. What is the Find tool? The Find tool allows you to find pieces of data with particular attributes. The most commonly used tab on the Find tool is Features, but there are also two others locations and linear referencing. Within the features tab, you're able to search for a particular term within any layer in your map. The locations allows you to locate a specific address in your data. This requires a preloaded address locator. Linear referencing allows you to find a specific route within your data. This requires additional software. The find tool is a very basic query. It will search for exactly what you type in. For instance, if Smith was searched in a census database, there will be many entries returned. However, if Select by Attributes tool was used, the query could be John Smith, born in Chestertown, Maryland, in 1836, to return an exact result. When using the Find tool, if the Features tab is selected, you would insert your search term here, in this box. The In section is where you would select which layer you wanted to search within. In the search section, you would select all fields if you would like to search for the term in every field of the attribute table of the layer you chose. Select in field if you have a particular field in the attribute table that you would like to search within. Once the in field is selected, choose a field from the drop down menu. This is the search results for Jackson within the roads layer, and the search has been for all fields. As you can see, there are 513 objects found. This is a more precise search that has been modified to use the infield road name, which is what RD name stands for. As you can see, now when specified, there are only 58 objects found that are roads named Jackson within the roads layer, specified by using the road name as a field to search. Select by Attributes is more sophisticated than the Find tool. It allows the user the freedom to make multiple selections from different attribute fields, as well as the other useful features you will discover. There are six main portions to the Select by Attributes that you need to understand in order to properly use the Select by Attributes tool. When selecting the attributes, you can choose to select any layer found in the table of contents to search within. In this case, there are only two layers, roads and parcels. There are four available methods for selection using attributes. Select by creating a new selection, adding to a current selection, removing from a current selection, and further selection within a current selection. Create new selection allows you to ignore any previous searches and create a completely new search criteria. Add to current selection allows you to create new search criteria that selects more features and adds them to the current group of selected features. Remove from current selection allows you to search for attributes that you want to remove from your current group of selected items. Select from current selection allows you to refine your current selection search with a second set of criteria. The field name section lists all possible attribute fields that you can search within. These are the headings of the fields or columns found in the attribute table. Understanding the attribute fields is important when trying to intelligently query your data. When using the Select by Attributes tool, use operations or symbols to build a search query. Some of the operations you will use much more frequently than others. Some of the more commonly used operation symbols are the equal symbol, the greater than symbol, the less than symbol, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. The AND symbol refines your search querying out multiple criteria. The OR symbol broadens your search using the combinations of multiple criteria. Some of the other operations used, brackets for not equal, brackets for creating formulas, an underscore for a single wildcard symbol, a percentage sign for the unlimited wildcard symbol, like similar to, but not equal to, is used with wildcard symbols, is, 
is used when searching null values. Not used in conjunction with is when searching null values. The Get Unique Values button provides a list of all the different attribute values within the chosen field which you can pick from when building your query. Without this button, you could easily mistype an attribute value and the search would not work. By using this feature, the proper syntax is applied. The bottom section of the Select by Attributes tool is the SQL query, where the search you built will be displayed. Pay attention to what is typed in the box because every option chosen changes the outcome. Notice that road name is surrounded by double quotation marks and that Maple Alley is surrounded by single quotation marks. This format is required in order for the analysis to be run and to be correct. You can save queries and load them back into the tool for further use using the buttons below. You now know how to build a query within the Select by Attributes tool. But what does Selecting by Attributes really do? The Select by Attributes tool uses the structured query language, SQL for short, to focus on a specific search. SQL is a computer language database designated for the retrieval and management of data from databases. For more in-depth explanation, click the question mark for SQL, what does that mean in the upper right hand corner for a better explanation. Select by Attributes grants you the ability to select features of a given layer that have the same specific characteristics. For example, the year a home was built, the type of heating systems used in the homes, and whether the homes have a garage. There are four different selection options available when you use the Select by Attributes window. Each method will change your selection slightly, affecting the results that are returned. Create new selection. This method allows you to ignore any previous searches and create a completely new search criteria, ignoring anything currently selected in the map document. Add to current selection. This method allows you to create a new search criteria that adds more selected features to the current selection group. Think of it as an addition math problem. Select from current selection. This method allows you to refine your current search selection within a second set of criteria. In the case your original query returns too many results, selecting from current selection allows you to narrow down your search by another attribute. Remove from current selection. This method allows you to search for attributes that you want to remove from your current group of selected items. Think of it as subtracting. Let's go over some of the operators used in the Select by Attributes tool under Step 4. Some are very basic, such as greater than or equal to. However, others require more precision and understanding. The but, and, or or operators can be tricky. And only returns if both conditions are true. For example, spruce tree and orange leaves. Only the left tree will return in the query because it is a spruce tree and it has orange leaves. Or returns if either of the conditions are true. For instance, spruce tree or orange leaves. Both trees would be returned because one is a spruce and the other has orange leaves, both fitting their criteria. This has been the Select by Attributes lecture on Geo Workshops for Washington College. My name is Eric Rice. Hope you enjoyed.